we are on day eight, nine, twelve of rain, and uh, yeah, we are basically not uh, able to work. <laughs> we could, but sugar cubes like we are here, you know, just might melt. So now there's things that we can do, and uh, obviously uh, we're a little bit limited, but. Um, I'll never complain about the rain. We can always use the rain. I mean, SoCal is a desert, and uh, we're always in drought times. So this uh, this isn't bad. So just kind of hampering a little bit of getting the projects done. And, uh, you know, we end up getting a little bit of water in the garage. You know, the yard uh, kind of fills up with water, we end up having to block out the vents, otherwise all these tubs and everything gets wet. And this is another spot, I don't know if you can see it, where we get some water that comes in the garage and uh, makes, makes it kind of difficult for working under the cars so we give it a little bit of time to dry out hopefully we've got some partial sun tomorrow and uh we'll get back on the bell air hey guys jeff at hubie's garage it's been a bit since I put out a video so i thought i'd uh just touch base and check in with everybody um been dealing with quite a bit of weather here in california it's uh nothing you know torrential but it's been bad enough that it's caused me to not be out in the garage obviously we're still working on the bell air and uh, you know I've had to push the Bel Air out of the garage to be able to get access to it, work on it, and uh, with the weather, just haven't been able to do that. So had a couple other things going on. Had a plumbing issue that uh, took up uh, about three, four days of my time, uh, helping out around with uh, chores with the family, um, stuff like that. And then uh, the biggest uh, issue has been waiting for parts. So uh, let me show you what's going on. So the Bel Air, uh, we've been working on getting that thing ready. We're working on the stuff under the hood, doing all the maintenance and update uh, stuff to get uh, leaky gaskets fit, uh, fixed, uh, water pump that was leaking, fuel pump that didn't work. Uh, so everything under the hood, we're basically just going through everything and uh, making everything ready to go tip top. Uh, the next item that we are working on is obviously the brakes you saw me do the uh, master cylinder uh, for uh, the brakes as well as we're doing new brake lines on the car the master cylinder i did pull back off because uh, i am painting it uh, we also pulled the carburetor back off because we're completely going through and redoing the whole entire fuel system and uh, still waiting on parts for the fuel system and we're definitely waiting on parts on the brake system. I ordered a set of brake lines, some stainless steel pre-bent pre -bent brake lines uh, to make up for some of the items that I had in a previous kit that weren't correct or that actually I thought were for the 55. They're for another application. They're probably for the kids Nova or some other project that we had. So had to order those parts and everything in the kit was great with the exception of the one line right here that goes across the front cross member. Uh, there's a pre-bent stainless line on that. And unfortunately, um, the company, the right stuff, been dealing with them, uh, bought it through Classic Industries. Apparently, somebody put the wrong part number sticker on this front cross member brake line. So I am still waiting to hear back from them. They're supposed to send me a new one, but like everything else, the priorities go to the big heavy hitter suppliers like Summit, Classic Industries, and the little guy, even when there's a problem such as this, you know, they're more interested in getting out their bulk, uh, you know, back order items to those companies first. So just is what it is. You know, that's, that's how most of us are dealt with. And unfortunately, uh, that's the case here. So, uh, so yeah, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I've got a couple other videos I'll probably get those out. We got uh, one on uh, my acetylene torch that I put together. Uh, I actually have the brake job from 
the Duramax, the rear brakes that I did, that uh, ended up uh, sending me to the hospital for stitches and got some lessons learned from that. If you're into, if you're not into seeing blood or squeamish things, then don't watch it. So I'm gonna get that out and um, should be hopefully getting the parts here soon and we can get back on these three videos. I basically have three videos that are in the queue. Uh, again, one for under the hood, one for the fuel system, and another for the brake system. And each one of those items, I can't get those videos out until I get back ordered parts to come in. So um, with weather and everything else, it's, uh, it's just been a real roadblock. So we're gonna stay on the Bel Air. We're gonna continue to work on it, get it done and uh, get it to the point where we can get it across the finish line and have it turn key. Um, I also am gonna be getting on my trailer, which is about a day's worth of work, getting the car trailer done and ready to go. We also have uh, Howie's hardtop, which needs about one to two days worth of uh, upgrades and repairs to have that thing completely tip top. And then as soon as we get done with all of that, um, we're gonna get back into uh, continuing to tear this apart, sand it down, and get everything ready to go to paint and lettering. So gonna get back on that, and I'm hoping to be to the point where spring or summer I could start putting this thing back together, and we're probably gonna go through and go through this engine and do this engine right, because uh, the short block is a complete unknown in this engine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of where we stand right now. Yeah, we're also going to uh, get into the mini bike uh, after I get done with the Bel Air and uh, blow this thing apart and get ready to send the frame out to powder paint. I'm uh, going to go ahead and put this back to uh, the original Bonanza Blue. And then um, my solvent tank. I'm actually, I've actually got a five gallon pail of solvent and we are going to put this thing back into service because I need it and as well as we're going to deal with my blast cabinet i think probably what i'm going to end up doing is um getting a small tabletop blast cabinet i'm probably going to put it on a rolling cart so that i could roll it outside and not have to bring dust and crap into the uh into the shop but uh, i know i'm going to need that because i have a lot of parts in this thing the one thing i'm really anxious on doing is after the bell air and the gasser is uh, sent out for paint and lettering. I want to jump back on this. I want to jump back on the Delray because Newt and Dustin did just an amazing job on this car. And, you know, it's completely rust free. They've handed me a blank canvas. And, uh, you know, I've got to get in and do the frame. And I've got to get in and do some of the needed work, the fabrication, uh, mock up, get everything ready so that I could actually start screwing the car back together. But, Unfortunately, right now it's turned into a workbench. It's turned into storage. Basically, I have all of the parts that I've been accumulating for this thing. They're all in the trunk area, and you know it's time to start pulling it, pulling things out piece by piece, putting them in a blast cabinet, getting things painted, getting things ready, and um, you know we'll have this thing ready to screw back together so that I can get this thing out on the road because it's. Uh, this, this is supposed to be the the, the car that was supposed to be fast-tracked. I wanted to um, get my dad out in this car, and I wanted to get his old racing partner out back in this car. He came out and visited and saw the car and saw my dad's car. I'll show you some of the, some of the pictures of that here. But uh, yeah, we, we had uh, the other half of the race team, uh, you know, uh, Pat, he came out and, um, you know, got to see the shop and see the cars and uh, see the plans as well, see the Delray as well as the plans for the Delray. So I really want to get back on this car. Um, this is where I'll be able to really get, um, make a lot of progress 
and um, you know have something to focus on so it'll be a fun build but uh, yeah I'm just gonna use today as a day to uh, kind of go through and pick up and clean up because we had a lot of projects that got in the way we uh, the kid was cutting some plexiglass uh, in here with the bandsaw so <laughs> made quite a bit of mess and then I had a big plumbing project uh, that uh, I probably wasn't supposed to have but I did and uh, took a lot of uh, soldering and and uh, pipe cutting and I, I basically have to go through and get everything cleaned up again the big uh, intention of having the garage clean was knowing where everything's at where all the tools are where all the parts are and um, you know I'm even finding myself when I work on these projects even if I'm in the middle of a project and I'm going to continue the next morning I'll just go ahead and and uh, take the tools and I'll put the tools back in the toolbox so that every tool is accounted for and um, you know because you know how it goes there's projects that get worked on you have the hood open and you start setting wrenches down and stuff and you set them on top of the the engine block over there you set them on top of the gasser you set them on top of the box and then you go to try to find stuff and you can't you don't remember where you set it so yeah so today's the last day of the rain so I'm just uh, in the garage uh, cleaning up and uh, getting everything ready because we've got good weather coming and uh, I'm gonna jump right back on this Bel Air and uh, hopefully try to get uh, a video out or two of some of the progress we've made but I tell you 20 years it's amazing what a car sitting 20 years especially a car as nice as this one after sitting 20 years the damage that it does and um, you know this is something that's never going to happen again i'm going to um, make sure that i keep everything tip top and ready to go turnkey get all these projects you know to where they're um, as good as they can be but dr drivable usable and able to take out and have fun with them so we'll see how that goes so also wanted to say if you're watching this i've had as many as 92 percent of you that are not subscribers so i've had kind of a stagnation in, in um, subscribers and it's probably because I'm just not putting out videos on a regular basis so if you're passing by you're checking out a video you like 55 Chevy's I'm gonna be dealing with repairs upgrades tips tech talk stuff like that stuff pretty much pertaining to tri fives um, you know please subscribe to the channel and and leave a comment I respond to every comment out there so um, you know if you have a question uh, comment good or bad go ahead and leave it I'll reply and um, you know it's uh, one of those things where I'm gonna try to get back to getting videos out I get I, I will tell you I get a short out I've got YouTube preloaded with shorts um, they come out every Friday at 7 a.m. so there's a new short uh, that comes out just various topics just whatever I grab and film with the cell phone on a whim and try to make it try five related um, and then uh, I'm gonna try to get a video out once a week and maybe put it out like Saturday morning it seems like a lot of the guys that are in my bracket as far as the analytics of YouTube it sounds like a lot of people are like 45 and older and you know you're the guys that are probably you know getting up in the morning you're getting your cup of coffee and you're checking out the latest videos from the channels that you subscribe to so that's kind of why i do the friday morning at seven and it seems like on the weekends you know that first coffee of the day uh i want to make sure that i have a video out at that time if there's a time that you think is better leave a comment let me know because i'm trying new things and you know trying to get things going I'm, I'm 75 away from 2,000 subscribers and it'd be nice to hit that number you know just check another box and um, it basically just kind of keeps me going keeps me motivated and this is going to kind of help me guide me direct me as to what direction I should go with the channel uh, I know some stuff works some doesn't uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from lawnmower videos um, you know 
there's great lawnmower channels out there but you know I'm and I've got a lot of information to share in that area but uh, you know most of you are not here for that so um, but yeah if you're here please subscribe it'll really help out it'll help me get the direction I need to go and um, I'm just here because I love tri fives well actually it's it's I've been working on these cars for over 50 years started working on Howie's hardtop when I was probably about five or six years old and um, you know I just want to help the hobby uh, the hobby is uh, you know the hobby is going away unless we're out here doing this kind of stuff and teaching people and bringing new blood in you know I've got a couple kids that I'm mentoring and uh, you know trying to encourage them to uh, work on their current cars and maybe even think about getting a project car so um, you know highly 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 recommend if you guys are you know passionate about hot rods share that passion with a, a younger kid because uh, if you don't you know this hobby is uh, it's gonna fade away so we don't want that to happen these cars are just too great so anyway well thanks for watching guys I sure do appreciate it and appreciate uh, all my subscribers and I just want to say thank you for supporting the channel and being there in all the comments and um, just have a great week, guys. Take care.